lovely people welcome back to my channel and page i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife i really appreciate your support for me for always being part of this channel thank you so much okay allegedly it was said that uh, oni of ife have sent some uh, palace guards to Tadenika was school without informing Queen Naomi. And when Queen Naomi hears about it, she was so mad at uh, Oni of Ife that he, she called him and said a whole lot of things as in, in anger to him. We all know that. Okay, for those of you that have been following the trend, last time, it was said that uh, a man drove Queen Naomi to the school with a G-Wagon to pick Tade Nikawo. Because Oni of Ife has a lot of intels here and there, they said that they reported to him that it was a man who drove the car that brought Queen Naomi to school to pick Tade Nikawo. And it was said that ever since then, he have not uh, take it easy with Queen Naomi because he believes that it's her, uh, her fiancé that came to pick uh, Tade Nikawo. And recently we are hearing that he went to Tade Nikawo's school to inquire about one or two things without informing uh, Queen Naomi. And because the school in Lekki that at uh, Prince Tade Nikawo attends is owned by an Ileife woman. It is said that when the guards get there, they called Oni of Ife and they went straight to the woman's office. And because the woman knows what it means to have the royal guards, she answered the call. And uh, against the school code of conduct, he told she told Oni of Ife everything that he needed to know because normally it is not supposed to be so. But you know that in Nigeria, uh, one, uh, when money speaks, bullshit works, you know. So it was said that he requires a whole lot of things concerning Tade Nikawo, of which the woman uh, supplied him with all the necessary information that he needed and when Queen Naomi hears about it she was so mad at Oni of Ife and again the school because on no account should they release people people's uh, information although it is uh, they know that uh, Tade Nikawo is a prince but it is uh, Queen Naomi who uh, registered the baby there so everything about uh, Prince Tade Nikawo should be private, but you know, anyways, it has been uh, the deed have been done. So it was said that when Naomi was so so mad that she has to call Oni of Ife to ask him, What are you up to this time? What are you up to? Why is it that you can never allow me to drink water and keep, co uh, keep cup? You have been enjoying yourself marrying different women. I never said anything against it. That is because I am fed up with the marriage. Why not let me go? Will I sacrifice my life for this marriage? Have I not sacrificed a lot? Please let me go. This issue of monitoring me and Tade Nikawo, you have to stop it. Because I don't like it. It's, it's, it's getting too much on me. And it was said that Oni rep uh, replied to her that if what happened the other time, as in if a man comes to pick Tade Nikawo again from the school, that he is going to uh, take away Prince Tade Nikawo from Queen Naomi. And we all know that um, when he has evidence to take away Prince Tade Nikawo, uh, I don't think Queen Naomi can fight him. Yes. 
some say that he is being gentle to uh, with this situation because because of the love he has for when Naomi because the love is still there <laughs> but on the other side from what we are hearing because we are not there I don't think that the love is still there for uh, when Naomi and that is why she keep refusing Oni of Fife even when the man is playing uh, gently on her anyways the only thing is that you can only force a, a horse to the stream but you can never force a horse to drink water you know so to me trying to make this woman to succumb or to come back to the palace or come back to the marriage against her wish is not the right thing to do it's not the right thing at all because someone cannot be in a place where she's not happy uh, it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense so from what we are hearing he have threatened to take away tade nikawo away from when naomi if another person any any other day that such a thing happens again so that means that is my own opinion no i'm just asking so if there's anything that happens that when naomi was down or if there's anything because sometimes circumstances that will never begin for might happen so that means uh uh tade nikawo will not go to school or come back from school i don't just know or if it happens that it's only male a uh, person as a man i don't know i don't just know i don't just know guys i don't really know but the, the thing is getting worse by the day eh? when is this whole wahala going to end when when is it going to end every time we'll be hoping for something new and better but rather we keep hearing buzz buzz every now and then it's not good for this beautiful queen no seriously and it's not even too good for sadeni kawo too so why they are doing this and they should consider this little boy because if he's being raised uh, in a situation whereby his mother is being dragged on social media and his father all the time uh, i don't i don't know how it will be and two he, he raising him in a palace crowded with uh, desperate ladies all in the name of wives is not also good for him i don't just know what to say my own is that if had it been, if it is something that we can turn the hands of clock, it will be better that it's just Oni and the Queen Naomi and the Tade Nikawo. You know, everything will be sweet and nice the way we uh, we saw it at the beginning. But I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is what this is just the gist, and I thought I should come and share it with you guys here. Okay? Don't forget that all these gist that we are bringing to you, they are all alleged. Okay? They are not for hand information. We do not hear directly from them. We heard it from different sources and uh, believing what you see on social media is on your own account so you have to be careful uh -huh. so thank you so much please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support my god will bless you for everything see you guys in my next video bye for now love you guys